beautiful morning. Should you guys tell your crush that you like them? What's going on guys, Angel here, Better Men Daily. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe. If you guys are listening on the podcast, thank you guys so much. If you guys follow on TikTok, keep enjoying the content there as well. So let's talk about this guys. Should you tell your crush that you like them? And the answer is absolutely yes. Yes, you should. And there are a few reasons why you should, but first let's talk about why people think that you shouldn't. And I think there's a lot of advice right now on Alpha TikTok. It says that you should never tell them that you like them. You should always make them chase you. And you should leave them undelivered. And you should, you should never say it because the moment that you say it, they're going to run away from you because that's not attractive. They feel like once they have you, um, once they already have you, that the game is over, the chase is over, and they're going to go find something else. And I think that is completely, completely wrong. Um, will it happen sometimes that way? Absolutely. But I think the reason it happens that way is because the person, the man on the, on the other side of it, isn't ready or mature enough. Um, it could be, it could very well be that the, the female, the, the other person, the other, the person that you're pursuing isn't ready or mature enough either. But I think if you're going to tell your crush that you like them, I think that you, you probably should have already vetted them a little bit in terms of, are they mature enough? Are they in the right place to accept what you're giving them? So, but based on that, if you have your ducks in a row, if you are, if you have conviction, if you have self-confidence, if you have self-discipline, if you know where you're going, if you have your fitness, finance, fashion in order, I think it's very, very hard for them uh, if they feel, if the, the liking and the, the way that you guys talk to each other and your energies matched is reciprocal, I'm, it's really hard for them to say that they don't like you. And if they say that they actually don't like you, they're probably not ready enough for the level of maturity that you're bringing. And they're probably going to run for you because they have to fix things about them before they could actually be with somebody like you. And that a lot of times is the case for somebody who, like I said, has their ducks in a row, who's at peace with themselves, who doesn't have insecurities, who isn't holding emotional baggage. But if you're not in that position, I don't think you're in a place to date yet. I think you got you should really take the time to work on yourself. And that's what Alpha TikTok, fake Alpha TikTok, that's what Alpha TikTok preaches, that you should be working on yourself, becoming better. And a lot of times they use exercise or fitness to do that. But there are other ways that you can get better too. You can get better in your style. You can get better in your finances. You can get better with emotional intelligence and mindset like we're doing right now. You can get better with your mental health. There are so many factors that you guys can get better in before you guys pursue dating and trying to find the one. But ultimately, should you tell your crush? Yes, you should tell your crush because it does a few things. The first thing it does is it tells them directly your intentions. Your intentions are to find somebody to be with for a long-term relationship. And if they're not ready for that, that's their burden to bear. That's their maturity that they need to figure out because you're mature enough and you're bringing it up and you're ready for that. Uh, the second thing is if it, it shows their intentions, because if their intentions aren't to ever date you, just to talk and be around you, then you're then you're going to ultimately give them that ultimatum when you tell them that you like them. If they don't like you back, then they can go ahead and kick rocks because that, that's wasting your time. If you never tell them that you like them and for months and months and months you guys do the same thing and match each other's energy and in the end she leaves you for somebody else, you just wasted so much of your time that you could have been finding the right person, that you could have been working on yourself instead. You could have been doing many other things with your time. Instead, you gave months and you know weeks and months to somebody who was never actually going to pursue anything further anyway. So I think you guys are doing yourself a service when you tell somebody that you like them. And the alpha part of this is you being so ready, being so at peace, being so confident that they're going to be able to feel that alpha energy based on who you are, your convictions, your authenticity, your ambitions, those kind of things, your kindness, your at peace, your gentleman. Um, those are alpha traits. Those are actually alpha traits. Everybody says that they're beta. The alpha beta thing is absolutely ridiculous in my mind. But you're, if you're somebody who, who is well-mannered and you treat people with kindness and you actually care about uh, putting women on a pedestal, and not all women, you can be respectful and be a gentleman, but you don't have to put them on a pedestal, but putting the one person that you want to be yours on a pedestal, then you're an alpha in my opinion, because 
those, like I said, you can be a gentleman, but you don't have to give that same energy to every single woman or female that you've ever seen or that you ever talked to. You can start off asking questions and being a friend or more friendly. You don't, because they don't deserve that. Not everybody gets to deserve the real you. You're asking them questions to learn more about them. And once you guys get to a place where she likes you, then you can open up even more. You can give them even more because you know, one, that they're interested in you as well, but not everybody deserves to see all that side of you. That's what makes you an alpha. That's what makes you high value is that not everybody gets to see that version of you. Most people don't get to see that version of you. And if they get to see that version of you and they know that you don't show that version to everybody, especially friends and other people who talk to you, if, if you don't show that side all the time, they feel special. That's what makes them feel special is that they're one of the only ones that truly, truly know you. So that's my thoughts on what's an alpha, what isn't an alpha. So thank you guys so much. Angel here, Better Men Daily. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, subscribe, smash the like button. If you guys like it on TikTok, stay there. Also, if you guys like our podcast, go ahead and follow us on our podcast. Go ahead and subscribe and download our podcast Monday through Friday. Thank you guys so much. Angel here, Better Men Daily. Until next time, guys, take care. All love. Talk soon. Peace. Peace.